welcome back to my channel. So for today's tutorial, I wanted to walk you through step by step my self tanning routine. This is actually two showers after I initially filmed my self tanning routine. So you can see I'm still tan and it definitely when it washes away, it washes away evenly. I have had tanners that when I shower, they just come off in like patches and that's never a good thing. So yeah, if you would like to learn how I achieved this tan, please keep watching. If you liked what you saw, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up below, subscribe below, comment below, and yeah, I will see you at the end of this video. Bye guys. All right, so the first step of my tanning routine is taking a lotion or a cream and just massaging it into areas of my skin that tend to be a little bit more dry. So the areas that I'm going to focus on are my hands, my wrists, my elbows, my knees, and my feet. And this is just creating a barrier between your skin and the tanning product because then in these areas, if they're more dry, they might become a little patchy or they might get stained. So just apply lotion to these areas or any areas that you have that may be dry and then we are good to go and ready to start tanning. All right, so lately I've been using this Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse, which I am absolutely obsessed with. This is in the shade Ultra Dark, and I'm just going to put a couple pumps onto the applicator mitt and start at my shoulders and chest and then work my way down my arms. I like to start here just because I feel like naturally when I'm out and about in the sun, my chest and my shoulders are the parts of my body that definitely tend to get the darkest the quickest. So I feel like it just looks most natural if I start there and then work my way out. And then when I shift gears to my arms, again, I like to start the product where the sun hits my skin the most. So obviously I'm gonna start on the outer parts of my arms and then just blend it in towards the inner parts. But I feel like if I started on the inner parts then it just wouldn't give a natural gradient look to it. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other arm. As you can see, I like to go up and down and over each part of my arm about a million times just because I get a little OCD and I wanna make sure that I do have a nice even tan and it's not blotchy anywhere. So when I posted a photo of the before and after when I first used this product, a lot of you asked about my hands. So what I do is I make a claw to open up my knuckles and all the little nooks and crannies that I have in my hand and I'm just going to massage the self tanner. I use about one pump and just massage it into every little part of my hand. This way it creates a nice even application. Now, one thing that I didn't get to record to include in this tutorial is after I apply the tanner to my hands and to the rest of my body, I let the tanner continue to develop on my hands for about five more minutes before I go and wash it off with soap and water. I do this just because naturally my hands are a little bit lighter and paler than the rest of my body. So by doing this, it just stops the tan from developing on my hands furthermore. And then after my hands, I'm gonna shift gears to my legs and my feet. Now, I like to start with a minimum amount of product just because I can always add more. I'd rather add more than put too much on initially. And just like with my arms, I'm gonna start on the tops of my legs and then work it towards the back of my legs. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom half of my legs. I love this tan just because I feel like it's just so natural. It has a nice golden undertone. I've had a lot of tanners that either have orange or green undertones and I don't know, this one's my favorite. But also when you tackle your feet, I didn't get to record it, but you're gonna apply the tanner the same way you would apply it to your hands. So you're gonna stretch out your feet and try to just get it into every little nook and cranny. Now, the other question I get asked a lot is whether or not you can put the self-tanner on your face. Me, personally, I say go for it. It's all the tan, none of the damage from actually lying out in the sun. And nine times out of ten, I'm running around with no makeup on, so to have a tan body and a pale face, just not really ideal. So what I do is I apply one pump to the back of my mitt and start from the outer parts of my face and work my way to the inner parts of my face. Don't forget your eyelids or else you're going to look like someone who got stuck in a tanning bed with their little eye goggles on for too long and also make sure you blend it into your hairline and on your ears and behind your ears and on your neck just because the whole goal here is to have a nice even application. 
And then after you're finished with the application, you are going to let it develop for as many hours as you want. Obviously, the longer you wait, the darker it's going to get. And now I'm just gonna let some time pass. All right, so I just showered, I threw my hair up, and yeah, this is pretty much what it looks like initially after the shower. I did lotion my body because that is definitely key for longevity. I didn't wanna put any makeup on so that you can see what my tanned face looks like. A lot of you might be also concerned with what my hands might look like. This is it. There are no stains in between my fingers or on my wrist. So that's a total plus. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Again, if you are interested in purchasing the Loving Tan Self Tanning Mousse, take advantage. Use my discount code for a free applicator mitt. It definitely helps in the application, and plus it's free, so why not? Um, yeah, and if you liked what you saw, go ahead, give it a big thumbs up below, subscribe below, comment below. I would love to hear from you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.